For those who don't know, earlier this month, the Union Cabinet of India has passed the Transgender Rights Bill 2018. Now, the bill is supposed to protect rights of transgender people in the Union of India. The bill, first of all, states that a transgender person is one whose gender identity does not match the gender assigned at birth. It includes trans men and trans women, persons with intersex variations and gender queers. This bill also includes persons having sociocultural identities such as Hijra, Kinar, etc. This bill is supposed to be protecting trans people from discriminations in fields like education, employment, and healthcare in such areas. This bill also criminalizes offenses like compelling a trans person to beg, denial of access to a public place, physical and sexual abuse, etc. And this would attract either imprisonment or fine. The problem with the transgender bill is that it does not allow the trans person to self-identify. Under Article 21 of the Indian Constitution, the Supreme Court has held that the self-determination of one's gender is part of the fundamental right of dignity, freedom, and personal autonomy. It is supposed to be guaranteed under the Indian Constitution. However, according to this transgender bill, which was passed by the Union Cabinet, a trans person must obtain a certificate to identify as proof of recognition of identity as a transgender person and invoke rights under the bill. Now, such a certificate would be granted by the district magistrate on the recommendation of a screening committee. And the screening committee is supposed to be comprised of a medical officer, a psychologist or a psychiatrist, a district welfare officer, a government official, and a transgender person. Now, the problem with this uh, screening committee is that trans people will have to show their genitals to strangers. They will have to identify, they will have to go to strangers who will judge their identity, judge the validity, judge the legitimacy of their identity, even if they don't agree with what results they provide. I mean, what does the government think a trans person, a transgender person is? I mean, there is no criteria to be a trans person exactly. If a person A supposedly says that they were born um, in a male body but wants to become a female, they are a trans person, they are a trans woman. The government's lack of interest in the self-identification of a trans person as the fundamental right is presented in this bill and hence the bill is very flawed. Now, if a trans person cannot identify, self-identify themselves, then what is the use of such a bill? I mean, who are the trans person who will get the rights? The screening committee might as well say, oh no, you are not a trans person because you haven't met such and such criteria. If those criteria even exist, which they don't by the way. However, the good news is that a few days later, just after a few days, the government also introduced the Transgender Persons Protection of Rights Bill 2019. This bill for the first time has defined transgenders and has ensured family life for transgender children, made provisions for sex reassignment surgeries, psychological counseling, and protection against any form of discrimination against transgender people. The major changes in this new bill is that the government has ensured that a person does not have to appear before a screening committee to be declared a transgender. So this new bill, which has just been introduced in the lower house of the parliament, is actually a better one and I'm personally happy with this bill, all right? This bill provides the right for self-identification and people without going through hormone therapies or surgeries can identify as trans person, as a trans man, as a trans woman, as non-binary because of this bill. Now, I really hope this new bill gets passed and if it gets passed, then this will be a huge victory for trans rights in the Union of India. 
आप गई शुभम ऑफ द केयर इंडियन एथिस्ट अंटिल नेक्स्ट टाइम थैंक यू